I am back with Team Mac plays Minecraft. And as you can see, I'm at the quarry. So this just looks like a normal quarry until you jump down. <laughs> so I've been hard at work, kind of mining out this. This is just like my strip mine. I know it's not the most efficient way, but oh well, I get lots of materials. So yeah. So this is where I got a lot of the diamonds and iron and stuff. Stuff, stuff in here, lots of cobble, wood, sign, I'll need that. What's smelting right now? Stone. So this is the... <clears throat> you'd, you'd be surprised... Oh, that's where the pig died. <gasps> you'd be surprised how many times I've fallen down there. Alright, so this is the skeleton spawner that we found a few episodes back in the caves. So we are going to make a spawner today, that's why I have all the signs and stuff. So we're... oh gosh, that's gonna suck. We're gonna have to move the chests. Because I need to make this 9x9 nine nine and it's like 5x5 five five right now. Let's move the chests to like right here. We have to be fast about this. This is the most empty, so let's move this first. Oh gosh, I was not expecting to have to do this. Okay. Yeah, I need that. Alright guys, we got everything moved. We're all good now. So now we can expand this. So we need, so this is five, so we need four on each side. And I'll take this cobble. One, two, three, four. Ooh, iron. Take that. Now I'm using the work pick that we enchanted last time. Efficiency 5, I'm breaking 3. Great work pick. So we have to dig out all this. So I think I will just come back with you guys when I have it all dug out. You just need to make it 9x9 nine nine if you're wanting to do this along with me. Alright guys, this is now 9x9, nine nine. so now what we're going to do is dig two blocks below the spawner. So you're going to do that all around, and then, yeah, that's what you got to do. That's the next step. Alright, so now that you've got a 9x9 nine nine cube that is two blocks below the spawner, you are going to put water on the opposite, on whatever side you want the, water, the monsters to go. All along. So it's flowing like that. And then right here, you're going to dig one block. So, one, two, three, four, five, this should be the middle. That's where they're going to flow into. You're going to place one water bucket there. And I need more water. Come on. Oh, gosh. Give me more water. Yeah, you're going to need lots of water for this. And then you place one right there. And it should push them into here. 
and then from here you're going to place one sign right there water not right there because that's not going to work now you place a sign right here and you're going to need 16 signs in total one there and then 15 to go up so let's block this off so we don't make a mess And then you're gonna do this, zoom up, place a sign, and place more water. Oh gosh, this is gonna get difficult. <laughs> so yeah, you might want to take more than just two water buckets when you do this. Can I not? Okay, apparently you can't get up there. <laughs> Give me water. Alright, so then you come up here, place the sign there, break this, and then you just do that until you've placed 15 signs. So I have one, two, so I'm going to need one there, three, not there. Oh gosh. Four. And then you just. Gosh, dang it, I messed it up. Okay, okay, water, you gotta stop. Place the sign right here. And water right there. And then you just keep going until you've used 15 signs. So now, let me put a best torch down there. So now that you've got your 15 signs, you have your water, you put a, one water here, and then you just dig out until the water runs out. Oh gosh, oh no. Okay, that was not expected. Okay, we're gonna have to make a bit of a tunnel. Alright, so the water's run out, and then you dig that block, I'm filling all the parts, and then you go until the water runs out again. Actually, I don't think you need to do that though, so I'm not going to go that far. I'm just going to... Crap, I need another sign! Actually, no, I don't. Let's place that back. Alright, so then, this is where the monsters are gonna spawn, or are gonna fall. So you're going to. Let's see. So the spawner's back that way, so you probably want to be facing this way when you dig down. You'll have to dig down like 20 or so blocks. Hopefully. This doesn't end bad. I have a water bucket just in case there's lava I land in. Okay. One, two, three, four, eight, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Okay, it didn't end too bad. Or bad at all. 
All right, let's get a torch up here. So this is where they're gonna fall, and then. So I think 20 blocks. Oh, by the way, guys, this isn't my design. I watched a video. I'll link the video in the description if you want to watch that. But he had you go down 20 blocks, but you still had to hit him like three times. So I'm going to have you go down that many. We're just going to have to experiment with this. And then let's try and find level 12. Oh, is this it? Aha, this is the spawner right here. So this is where they're going to come. Let's break a torch right there. Oh gosh, the torch is way up there. Oh, I'll be back. So there you go. So now what you want to do is go in here. I don't know why I went all the way around here. Ow! Oh my gosh. You would do that. Gosh dang it. Freaking skeleton. You butt face. Yeah, stay down there. Actually, you can probably. No, you're stuck forever. Okay. Freaking. Okay. Okay, so now you break all the torches you ever placed in your whole life. Come on, break. There we go. Top one's the hardest. And I placed these ones on the sides because the the monsters were spawning on the sides here. Ow. Just go up the tunnel. Alright, so you got that. It's not, it should be pitch black in there. Oh, you can hear them spawning. And I think I want to make it completely dark over here. Because I want to put glass right there so I can watch them creepily. No, I'm just kidding. I'm going to get rid of that torch. Where's that torch? Oh. Yeah, we'll, we'll come back to that. Alright, so we got. Oh, and he has an enchanted bow. How nice. Okay, yeah, we're gonna have to do this carefully. It's good thing there's no torches to be broken. <laughs> oh no, that's gonna break the sign. Okay, that's okay, I'll just have to fix it. I think you can place signs on glass yet. And you can watch them come in. Hi there! Bye! And then let's see how many hits this takes. So it looks like it takes in between one and three hits. So let's make a slab and see if we can reduce that even more. I don't know why I made a slab out of that. But yeah, with a sword it's definitely one shot. But now they can kind of shoot me. Okay, that guy's armor, so he's going to take more, of course, but... Okay, so now it looks like it's in between one and two. And we actually want that slab anyway, because we're going to want to place chests in here to collect all the stuff. So that's good. Looks like it's clogged a little bit. Hi there.
Yeah, so this seems like it takes you know, let's see if we can make it just perfectly good. So what about that? Oh, it looks like it got unclogged good. Okay. So let's just wait till I come and see if this makes it one hit. Some of them might die. Still two. It's kind of armor, so it's gonna take longer, but and then if you can get a bunch of healing potions, it doesn't matter because you'll splash them on and they all die, so. Okay, one hit. One hit. So that's two for one. Let's just try to figure this out. Come on. Come on, guys. Two, two, two. So it still seems like a lot of them are two. But I'm afraid if I do that, they'll just all die. So let's find out. Yep, he died. I just want to see if you can get it perfectly efficient to where they're all one hit, except for the guys with armor, of course. Yeah, that's way too many of them dying. So yeah. So I don't remember how many blocks that was actually. <laughs> but you guys can just mess around with it until uh, you get it like that. Okay, one of them died. But it looks like for the most part they're not going to die. So I guess we can just set up the hopper thing right now probably gonna need more than that so I have three hoppers actually no I'm gonna need a slab yeah so let's put a slab right there Yeah, if you want to do the hopper thing, you need a slab. And you need a hopper right there. It is so dark. So I want there to be chests right there. We need a lot of chests. Right, so I want chests right here. And chest right there. Oh my. Iron armor. Yeah, but if you can get a surplus of healing potions, yeah, a lot of them are still one hit anyway, so. Let's not put it over here. Let's just keep it on this side. Let's figure out where the hopper is. Right there. And we're going to need a lot of hoppers for this. So go down, down, over, and then right into the chest. It's actually easier if I do it. Re reverse. Okay, I need two more hoppers. Are they shooting each other? No, just some of them. Are, yeah, someone's shooting in there. I'm gonna stay in it. <laughs> That's kind of funny. So 
Sounds like they killed the one that was shooting everyone. Right, so now we need that, that. So now, let's, let's cover up this tunnel. So now if I don't pick up the things, they should go into that hopper. And then we should have some stuff in here. No? Something's messed up here. Oh, duh. Okay. Oh, the hopper. <laughs> Gosh damn. Okay, it's just this first one actually that's causing the problem. It needs to be pointing at that one. So now it should work. You get your XP. This is good because I actually need XP. So then, yeah, I'll funnel into here, and you have infinite arrows, bones, and assorted bows and armor pieces. <laughs> Sweet. So, you guys, I think that's going to be the end of this episode. If you guys did enjoy, be sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe down below, and I'll see you guys in the next episode. See ya!